Today, we will talk about hurdle rate, what it is and how businesses and investors use it. A hurdle rate is the minimum rate of return a project or investment must achieve before the manager or investor approves a predetermined condition. It allows companies to make important decisions on whether or not to pursue a specific project. The hurdle rate describes the appropriate compensation for the level of risk present. Riskier projects generally have higher hurdle rates than those with less risk. The term is often used in private equity investing and hedge fund management. For example, in a private equity investment fund, the general partner is only allowed to charge their performance fees if the limited partner's rate of return is at or above the hurdle rate, which is a predetermined minimum acceptable rate. The most common formula used to calculate a hurdle rate is the weighted average cost of capital. A simplified WACC calculation makes it quicker and easier. You only need to use the following to calculate your WACC. WACC equals E slash V X re plus D slash V X R D X one T C where E is the market value of the firm's equity, V is the total market value of the firm's equity and debt, RE is the cost of equity, D is the market value of the firm's debt, R D is the cost of debt, and T C is the corporate tax rate. So, assume you have the information in the following table to calculate the WACC. Key takeaways, a hurdle rate is the minimum rate of return required on a project or investment. Hurdle rates give companies insight into whether they should pursue a specific project. Riskier projects generally have a higher hurdle rate, while those with lower rates come with lower risk. Investors use a hurdle rate in a discounted cash flow analysis to arrive at the net present value of an investment to deem its worth. Companies sometimes use their weighted average cost of capital, WACC, as the hurdle rate. Here are five key takeaways. 1. A hurdle rate is the minimum rate of return required on a project or investment. 2. Hurdle rates give companies insight into whether they should pursue a specific project. 3. Riskier projects generally have a higher hurdle rate, while those with lower rates come with lower risk. 4. Investors use a hurdle rate in a discounted cash flow analysis to arrive at the net present value of an investment to deem its worth. 5. Companies sometimes use their weighted average cost of capital, WACC, as the hurdle rate. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.